Hi everyone and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at what's going on with your Twin Flame. Um, the energies, what's going on with the connection. This is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So, we'll go ahead and get the cards a shuffle and see what's coming up for you guys. Bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Pentacles. Okay. Um, all right. Okay, for some of you, you've got a connecting energy around you here. There is someone who I feel like has been, I feel like this person has been trying to warn you of something, okay? They've either been foreshadowing something um, about your twin flame here or about your connection in general. I feel like they've been trying to warn you against someone, against either pursuing a connection or they've been trying to warn you about the, the, charity, their in, the, charity, sorry, the character, their integrity here. So I feel like this is someone who's coming up as this energy is coming up as someone really wise okay someone really wise for their ears they could be someone older than you it could be like a parental figure it could be like um like a close connecting energy though it could be someone you work with whoever it is i feel like this person is really intuitive this is someone who i feel like is really smart very intelligent um and it's almost like they've predicted something for you here so it feels like whatever they've been saying here about your twin flame or whatever they've been whatever advice they've sort of been hinting at or giving to you it feels like they uh it feels like there was a lot of truth and a lot of honesty and a lot of integrity to what it is they were saying because i feel like this person was trying to it's like they were saying something along the lines like you know don't let your vision get clouded okay um make sure that you know this person that you're dealing with um, this this person is coming across as like a non-committal type of energy okay if someone isn't willing to commit to you now they may not be willing to commit to you later it's like this person it may be um, they may be sort of playing their field they may be trying to keep their options open so I feel like this this energy was trying to warn you of you know this person and their intentions or their lack of commitments or the lack of stability here and there was it's almost like they were seeing they were saying to you that either your vision is being clouded or you're not thinking straight you're not thinking clearly or that you are on some level romanticizing this person or you're you're someone who looks at things with a pair of rose colored glasses on, or you're romanticizing this connection so i feel like this person was trying to get you to see things clearly or trying to get you to see things straight to see you know things as they are rather than as you want them to be for a lot of you you didn't want to hear it um because i feel like a lot of you were a big part of you was hoping that they weren't going to be right, even though, you know, there was another part of you that was feeling that, oh, okay, there may be some truth to what they say. But I feel like it's almost like either you were too proud to admit, okay, to what they were saying to you, or you just didn't want to hear it because, I mean, you wanted to believe, you know, in the best of, in the best of this individual. You didn't want to believe that this connecting energy you know was telling you a truth because you didn't want the truth to be true after all here so i do feel like there's someone around you who i feel like honestly they have your best interest in, at heart and the things that they say aren't to they're not to do a disservice to you they're to try to that this person is trying to get you to see things straightly to get to, you to see things clearly and to think clearly when it comes to this connection okay so this is definitely what i have for you because i feel like you are dealing with someone I'm seeing a magician's energy and the magician, I mean, yes, he's positive, you know, he's a manifester, but at the end of the day, I can't ignore, you know, what the magician stands for. He is a skilled manipulator. He makes things disappear and reappear again. You know, he is someone who misdirects our attention. He's someone who's able to conceal one reality whilst providing us another version of it. So this, this, 
a lot of emotional manipulation that's going on when it comes to someone's energy here. I feel like someone here is aware that they're pulling the wool over your eyes or someone here is, they have a tendency to, they come up as a fluctuating presence. They have a tendency to reappear and disappear here. It could be that some of you are at like the runner or chaser stage of the twin flame connection where, you know, there's a lot of feelings involved. In fact, there's so much feelings involved that there's a lot of overwhelmment there. And this is what causes your person to run away because they don't know how to deal with their emotions. They don't know how to process their emotions. I mean, this is all unfamiliar to them. I guess it's definitely that kind of dynamic here for some of you. Whilst for others, I feel like this person is someone who is wanting to keep their options open. So this is why I say this connecting energy was pretty much... Um, was very accurate with their predictions here. So this person, I feel like um, you're dealing with someone who you do have strong emotions for, and this person does have very strong feelings for you too, okay? Um, but I feel like there's, I mean, the Seven of Cups is, it is a non-committal type of energy. So I don't know that this person is ready to commit to you, okay? They may think that they want commitment. They may think that they want a relationship with you. Um, and they may think that, you know, this is what they're built for, but I feel like there's a lack of readiness. There may be fears of emotional intimacy. They may have commitment issues because um, I do feel like there is or it just could be that this person is, has a lot of options around them. OK, which makes it hard for them to just commit to that one person or one energy here. So you are dealing with someone who's coming up as non-committal, someone who I feel like is not ready for commitment here. And this non-committal energy is unfortunately emotionally unavailable towards you okay um and i feel like it's this very this energy is very aloof okay i'm getting that this person is very aloof this person that you're dealing with there's this aloofness about them which makes them even more attractive and which makes them even more desirable to you because it feels like they're a hot catch and it feels like they're hard to get here and Look, for some of you, I am getting that, you know, if you hang in long enough, there may be an opportunity for commitment here. But for others, I feel like you're dealing with someone here, and I don't know if this is you or if this is your energy, someone I feel like sees this, okay, as a chance for like self-validation. That's what I'm getting for you. It's like self-validation in earning your attention and or you, self-validation for you in them earning, in you earning their attention. Someone I feel like is coming up as someone's aloofness, okay? What I get is someone's aloofness is coming up as it's leaving someone feeling very frustrated and it's, lead, it's someone is, here is coming up as emotionally needy, okay? So where are you? When am I going to see you next? Um, you know, uh, are you seeing other people? Who are you texting? And that's bringing out a certain side within someone else. So if this is you or if this is them, so someone's aloofness here is essentially manifesting as someone else's um, emotional neediness or emotionally clingy behavior here. For a lot of you, I mean, I did say that there, I feel like there is an opportunity, okay, in, I mean, if you hang on to this connection or if you hang on to this energy long enough, there may be an opportunity for this this energy to eventually settle down and commit to you. But for others, I don't feel like this is going to be a happy ending here. And I feel like for the most part, especially with the judgment in reverse here, for the most part, I do feel like a lot of you have, you probably didn't use your, like there was poor judgment here. Is what I'm seeing. You've judged the, you've misjudged the situation here, or there was a lot of self doubt to begin with here. This is also some okay. Someone I feel like with the judgment in reverse, someone is also very unhappy about the situation. Okay, they're unhappy about the situation. Um, to me, justice and the two of cups tells me that in order to better this situation or in order, you know, for things to be balanced out here, 
compromise and moderation is key here okay so some compromises and some moderations is absolutely going to be needed here on the other hand i have i see that someone has to open up their eyes here okay they need to open up their eyes here to the romantic situation and see things a little bit more clearly remember not as they want to see them and not as they're being shown but i feel like they need to look past certain manipulations and look past certain embellishments and look past their romanticized you know their romanticized version of it because i feel like someone is maybe they're in denial about the situation maybe they're in denial about you know someone's character someone's intent here there's something either you're missing something okay or whoever this person like is your energy your person's energy is missing something about the situation here so I feel like the cards are definitely asking, and it's funny because I feel like this person, whoever it is that this person has, you know, is connected. This person is connected with you, and it's almost like they told you so kind of energy. It feels like this person has, you know, they saw this energy for who they were from the very beginning. They saw past their deceit, they saw past their deceptions, they saw past their, you know, manipulating ways here. So facing the truth here is definitely going to set you free, okay? And it's definitely going to set this connection free. And also just being very honest with yourself, okay? Just seeing yourself very honestly, seeing yourself in this connection very honestly, seeing them honestly, okay? Seeing them as they are. Remember, not as you want them to be, okay? But as they are, okay? Um... Because with, I mean, you've got justice. I feel like you're, the person that you're dealing with here, justice and the magician, I feel like your person is, they're wanting to come across a certain way. They know what they're doing here. And I feel like justice is inviting for you to either call this person out, okay? Or it's asking you to hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable and hold this person accountable for their actions or lack of. Because justice is all about truth honesty integrity you know accountability you know justice karma karmic justice here yeah, consequences you know um so i feel like the card here is saying that because someone's past actions are going to come back and bite them okay the, someone's past actions are going to resurface so someone here i feel like has done a lot of manipulating um and has been definitely weaving a web of deceit and they think that they've gotten away with it and look maybe they have for quite some time you know but I definitely feel like it's going to resurface here because, you know, karma, I mean, it's got everyone's address written down, right? So, you know, someone's actions here will definitely, there'll come a time when their actions will definitely be judged here. So if you've been wronged here, the justice tells me that karmic justice is, you know, this person's going to pay their karmic justice, pay their dues, and, you know, that's going to bring you a sense of relief. And if this person has, you know, if you've wronged them again, then I feel like, you know, there will be consequences here. So I feel like this card serves, it's almost like as a warning here to take account, accountability for your actions. And the other thing is, the other message that I get here is someone needs to know the truth before passing a judgment here. Okay. All right, guys. So these are your messages. For those of you interested in a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, guys, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, both, you know, divine masculine, divine feminine ones, as well as weekly and monthly tarot readings. Just feel free to check out my channel. Um, please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, um, sharing. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.